Hello guys, welcome back to TechDose and in this video we will see how to find the minimum number of operations required in order to convert 0 to n with some given operations under some given conditions. So let us look at the problem statement. Let us say we have a number 0 and you input a number n. Then what will be the minimum number of steps in order to convert this 0 to n and the operations allowed are given a number x at any instant x you can multiply it by 2 or you can add 1 to the number x and you will have to just do this conversion in a minimum number of steps and you will return the number of steps as your result. So how can you do it? I would highly recommend you to solve this question by yourself and then come here and see the solution. So let's begin with the solution. You might get fooled by this question. It's saying you need to convert this 0 to n and you have all these operations. Now at any given instant x, any value can have two possible operations. Okay, either you can multiply it by 2 or you can just subtract or you can add 1 to it. Now if you get a value say y and here you get a value z. Again you will have two branches. That means two possible operations and like this you will have again two options. Okay, so this can take exponential time if you do it by using backtracking. So this is not a feasible approach. Backtracking or recursion is not a feasible approach. It will take you exponential time. Okay, so how to do it with a better approach? Now instead of converting this 0 to n, what I will do is I will convert this n to 0. The steps, the minimum steps to convert this n to 0 and 0 to n will always be equal. Think about it it should always be equal okay so if you are converting this n to 0 operations will be different operations will be just the opposite when you were converting this 0 to n you had multiply and addition so when you will convert this n to 0 you will have division and subtraction okay so these will be the operations how you will swap it now let us look at the approach if say if the given number at any instant x is say is even then the operation will be x equals to x by 2 else if it's not even then it will be odd obviously you will do x equals to x minus 1 okay and whenever you do this operation you will just increment count by 1 so count plus equals to 1 at the end you will just return the result as count so this will be the number of operations, number of the minimum number of operations which is required to convert 0 to n or n to 0. So let us take an example and understand it clearly. Let us say you are given to convert this 0 to 12 and you are required to find the minimum number of operations. Okay, so what will be the minimum number of operations? What I will do is I will take this 12. Since this 12 is even, I will divide it by 2 it will be 6. 6 is even, I will divide it by 2. It will be 3. 3 is odd, I will subtract 1 from it. It will be 2. Now 2 is even, I will sub I will just divide it by 2. It will be 1. 1 is odd, I will just subtract 1 from it and it will be 0. Now 0, we should convert n to 0. Okay, so what are the number of steps? This is step 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so we are basically converting 12 to 0 in 5 steps therefore it should be possible to convert 0 to 12 in just 5 steps okay so the answer for it will be 5 now let us look at some another example let's say you have a number 9 now you need to convert this 0 to 9 in minimum number of steps now how will you do it i will take this n value which is 9 9 is odd number therefore you will subtract 1 from it it will be 8 8 is even you will just divide divide it by 2 it will be 4 4 is even you will divide it by 2 it will be 2 2 is even you will divide it by 2 it will be 1 1 is odd you will just subtract it by 1 it will be 0 so this is the result now the number of steps will be 1 2 3 4 and 5 so you can convert 0 to 9 in just 5 steps and these are the minimum number of steps so i hope you got the idea behind how to solve this problem and how to cal calculate the minimum number of steps. Now you should be able to write the code yourself. 
i will provide the code for it in the description section below so that if you have any problem then do have a look at it now what will be the time complexity for it the time complexity will be order of minimum operations required minimum operations which is required because we are just doing the minimum number of operations here okay we are just taking a number and we are just doing the minimum operations which is required so in this case where it was 9 we are just doing 5 operations so time complexity will always be order of minimum operations required and space complexity will be order of 1 because we are not taking any extra space we are just inputting n n value okay so this is it about this problem if you find any difficulty then do comment below and i'll try to help you as soon as possible like and share our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of this programming videos see you on our next video thank you